good. The little red dot's back. It's back. Mm-hmm. Why does everything look off center? The couch is center. The, the camera's center. The mirror. I feel center. like this shelf usually is in the middle. Is it? No, it's not. Maybe that's it. No. It's, it's I mean, that's... Fuck it. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you feel better? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, you feel better. I can't even see this one. Oh well, whatever. As long as you feel better. Yeah. Okay. That was so cute. God, the fuck is fucking flying? It's because you brought out the bugs. <laughs> you guys have out the bugs. Guess what? What? <laughs> We're back. We're back. What that make? If you've got, I'm Victoria. <laughs> I'm Sarah. Holy shit, it's been two months. Yeah. I don't know. Ish. We recorded before we went to. Oh God, no, we didn't. We recorded way before we went to New York. We were supposed to record in New York, but you know how that always happens. We should have. We should have fucking recorded on the drive. I mean, we made little videos. Yeah, we made little videos, but I think we should have had like some sessions. Okay, Richmond. Richmond. We <laughs> have to record. It's not gonna Richmond. happen, but Richmond. We need. We need like a dash cam. Because we'll have Rick James. Oh, yeah. We'll have, yeah. So we'll have Rick James with us. We're going to Richmond. Yeah. Comedy show. Woo-hoo. Hopefully for me. <laughs> oh, it's funny to you, huh? It's good. I hope it's funny to me. God damn, there it is again. <sighs> yeah, we can record at the house. Yeah. I think I think we're going to drive separate. Probably me and you and her. Mm-hmm. She has a friend coming now. Okay. All right, cool. Which is good. Yeah. So we can go hiking and they can day drink. <laughs> they don't want to go hiking? No. She can go hiking and day drink. Yeah? Is that what you're going to do? I'm, I mean, we can go to like Belle Isle and go swimming in the lake yeah? and the river. Yeah. What part? I don't know. We got to find one. Have you ever seen the people whitewater rafting in that river? I have. I used and to. It's terrifying. I used to. You remember when we went, um, remember when we went last time and there was that, that rock with the Grateful Dead yeah. thing on it? Okay. So that has been there a very long time. When I lived in Richmond back in 2004, 2005, that was there. And that's like the area where yeah. everybody would like swim. I'm not a strong swimmer. I mean, neither <laughs> am I. Take me out. Neither am I. My greatest fear, like, with rivers like that, all of them. Like, what if I get stuck, like, in the rocks? In rocks? And and I drown. Yeah. Let's go. (laughs) Well, I know, like, um, when me and Heather went, because we walked, like, nine miles that day. Because around, and we had to turn around because something was blocked off. The other way, not towards, like, the building, Mm -hmm. but the other way you go. There's actually like little cutoffs where people were swimming, yeah. like safe looking. Like, right, right. I guess they were high, like little ponds and little pools. Yeah, there yeah. You go. So maybe we can find that. Yeah. That way. I don't know how the fuck I'm still alive. Like, you should uh, jump off the trestles, like the train shit. You have fun with that. No, not anymore. I, I mean, sometimes I have a death wish, but like not like that. That's like a terrifying. When you thing. see like the river dried up and all the rocks, yeah, yeah. I, I get terrified. <laughs> and then the, when we went the last time, remember we walked across that bridge thing, and you could see like the speed of the of yeah. the water, and I'm like, what the fuck did I used to do as a kid? Probably drunk. Probably didn't remember. I was actually sober at that. Uh, well, no. I mean, like, I wasn't. I was sober at that particular time, but not in that. Error? Yeah. Would it be an error? Yeah, I guess so. Guess My college error? Yeah. E- error, probably. Error. Pretty error. much. Sound error. about right. Okay. I'm yeah. In a suit. Yeah. Since we're not staying in a hotel anymore with the pool. No. We're not staying. Yeah, we're staying in another Airbnb. <laughs> Yeah? Are we sure about this? They don't know the Airbnb story yet. 
Let's dive on in. Pew. We do not like Airbnb. They're we scary. Almost, we almost got murdered. Yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, Ish. It, I saw my life flash before me. Let's start at the beginning. We went to New York. We went to New York. I said, let's meet up at 5 o'clock. I'm thinking it's 5 a.m. Both girls, her and the other Sarah, 5 a.m. None of them were up at 5 a.m. No one texted me at 5 a.m. to even see where I was. So obviously they didn't care if we were leaving at 5 a.m. My dumbass wakes up at 9.30 and I go, oh my God, they left without me. I was the one driving. <laughs> like, I'm driving. I wouldn't leave you. No. Your, your car is gone. I left my truck. I would. Oh. She's up to something. You're scared of me. Yeah, she was up on the counter or up in the bookshop. Yeah. Um. Yeah, fucking. I I thought we were leaving in the morning. No, I don't know why. No one texted me to ask me where I was. No, I mean, I woke up at 9 30, so I was like, what the fuck? And then I saw the text, like, you know, Jesus Christ. We went leaving at like 7 p.m. Yeah. We had to stop. <laughs> we just stop in Pennsylvania and drop off some money. That's what the fuck is she doing? Get down from there! What's up there? Her tennis balls. Balls. Probably not gonna get none this week, but you know, whatever. Balls? Yeah. The balls in your court. <laughs> no, really? it's a hit. I mean, I gotta pay this motherfucker. <laughs> it's like a profit. <laughs> I buy hookers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna I buy mail hookers. Okay, there we go. Okay. <coughs> anyway, we leave at like 7 p.m. Go to Pittsburgh. Drop off money. Pits- uh, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. Sorry. That would have been Wrong a very place. long trip. Oh my god, yes. Um, yeah, I had to drop off some money to a family member. God, that... I almost had to fight someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. I'm not gonna lie. Like, that... That drive at night... Wasn't really that bad. No, it was there was easy. no traffic. There was. I figured out how to use cruise control in my car. Fucking brilliant. A year later, yeah, I, dude, the thing's a fucking spaceship. Like, you put it on a cruise control and it has like a distance thing. And uh, if it, like if a car like gets in front of me and it's like too short, it, yeah. it slows it down for me. Oh, and y'all were sleeping at one point. But I was like, awake the whole time. So I don't know. But she did you, was asleep. Did you feel it like like break? Break? Yeah, like, like I was like, holy shit, what the fuck? Because someone like got like super in front of me where they weren't supposed to be. So my car like automatically just stopped. But it's crazy. Can't wait to that out. I know. I was like, pull up, pull out the owner's manual and read this shit to me because I have no fucking idea. I usually anything. fall asleep on trips. I was. Like, I can't. I can't do it. Is that why you like to drive? Yeah, I can't. Like, so I'll get. I like being in the front seat or the driver. Okay. Yeah. So you gotta figure that out. Am yeah. I driving, you driving. I fucking love driving. Okay. So I'm good with that. Yeah. He's gonna pick me up. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, go get, get you. Me. I'm gonna go get you, girl. Get and I want, I want. Oh no! Shit. <laughs> Work that out. You gotta. Mm-hmm. Thanks. I just want him to be impressed with me. <laughs> well, that means. If- Anyone stays, you, you gotta take them home or to the place. Yeah, I'm gonna bang them out of my car. <laughs> Put all those seats back. I'm gonna fucking fur runner and shit. <laughs> oh, but yeah, so. <laughs> what, a, how, what else do we do on the way up there? Like, on driving. That was, <laughs> we went out of the way from McDonald's, even though we were about to pass one. Yeah, what the fuck was up with that? Those nuggets were so good. <sighs> that was great. It was great. It was good. There was, like, not a McDonald's off the interstate that we saw for a while. <laughs> so we pulled off for a while and got back on the interstate. Yeah, and we, there was one right there. Yeah, like, five minutes further than where we were. It was crazy. All we wanted was McDonald's for some reason. Nuggets. Nuggets. Actually, I think we all got nuggets and, and, a, and a cheeseburger. Yeah, and a burger. And sweet tea. All yeah. Of them. Oh, so good. And they let us use the bathroom. They were closed. Yeah, they were closed on the inside. And we were like, nah. And we were like, nah, we gotta go. Like, we've been driving. I was like, I'll piss right outside this door. <laughs> on your building. I will pee right here. Yeah, so we got in. Oh, God. And then we get into New York. Terrifying. I'm happy you're driving. <sighs> 
I did. I was an the extra. shit. You were good. Sorry, it's like you're from there. Yeah. Get out of my way. What you doing? I'm driving here. I'm walking here. I'm just laying on my horn. I think I almost hit somebody on a bike. You almost hit that guy opening the door. Remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. yeah. sure happens all the time. It does. Yeah. I'm just, can't believe I was just so willy nilly. <laughs> like, ugh. Just like a whip through You're shit. Like, Are you driving the truck? Hell, Hell no. no. <laughs> yeah. So, what we get into Bro- we get into Brooklyn at like what four a.m. So we get there. Yeah, four it was a. late. We were driving. I had been up since nine o'clock that morning. Plus, I went to bed at three a.m. that night before because I thought we were leaving at seven a.m. So like, sweet four hours of sleep, and then I. Oh. You did it though. I did it. I fucking did it. And we stayed up that whole entire day. We had no choice. But that's where the fun part comes in. 4 a.m. We get an apartment. It's yeah. really cute. It's, it's nice. super cute. We're like, we're going to make content. We're going to take pictures. Yeah. All the fun stuff. We start looking. We hear some shit. Yeah. And yeah. I check everything. Every hotel I go in, every air maybe. I check. Yeah. So we're like, okay, let's finish looking upstairs. We didn't know there was a lower floor. No. So let's backtrack real quick. So we walk it. It's an apartment building. So you have the common door. Would that have a code on it? Did that have a code? I don't remember. I'm going to fucking get this son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, Maybe? I think there was a code to get in the, the common door. And then we had the key to get into our door. So we're first floor. Our door's all the way in the back. And there's like a stairwell. There's a door here, a little Harry Potter door. A little sketchy door. It was open. Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Peeked in, and it had stairs going down. So I'm like, okay, it's New York, basement apartment. This is, you know, this motherfucker yeah. probably leaves it open, yeah. whatever. You have an eyelash in your eye. Is it, like, hanging? I want to go in your eye. Damn, I can't even get it. It's, like, I'm looking there for the rest of your life. Okay. You want to take that back? Take it back to your purse. <laughs> Save it for later. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so you know, I just assume it's a downstairs apartment. Yeah. Why are you going to shut that door? So we get into our place. It looks good. The first floor. We didn't realize there was that second yeah, lower I, level, and so that was confusing. It smelled like shit in there. Every oh time we went, <laughs> every time we went by a bath, like one of the bathrooms, like it smelled like shit. I'm like, why does it smell like somebody literally just took shit in there? And that's when we heard stuff. That's when we heard a noise. So we finish upstairs. Upstairs is fine. Yeah. I have a pocket knife. <laughs> they grab. I got my knife. And then Mother Sarah grabs. Got a kitchen knife. <laughs> kitchen knife. Because they're just like magnet onto, onto the, the wall. wall. That's safe too. Yeah. Right? So we go down. Did I go downstairs first? I think I did. <laughs> and it's like, it, like it, it's not like a straight down. It's like you got to turn corner. It was a fucking. It was amazing. It was a horror story waiting to happen. Small ass room. Randomly some huge metal door. It's not an interior door. It's not even like a normal house door. It's like. A bu- sure. It's like a business emergency exit door. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty yeah. much what it looked like. And it had one of those three prong deadbolts on it. Unlocked in fucking a jar. <laughs> not wide open. Not just like, not closed all the way. Like probably about this, yeah. this far apart. And there's a bit, a single bed with a sliding glass one, or a door at the foot of it. Unlocked. Unlocked. Fucking crazy. So, we leave. We once right again, now. my dumbass. Peeks around. It's the longest hallway. It's a long hallway. Like, no, it doesn't look like anything that belongs into an actual apartment room. Yeah. So, crazy Harry Potter stairs. I'm thinking that meets up. Like, there's, you know, yes, that's, yeah. it's got to be. It's, you know. It has to go somewhere. So, we checked the closet, too. I thought that's when we were going to die. I, I thought that's when we were going to We moving shower curtains. Yeah, we were moving everything. There was a bath. There was a bathroom down there, wasn't there? Like a half bath? I think so. A to- like a toilet? It smelled like shit. Um, 
Yeah. Nothing was in, no, nobody was in there while we were in there that we knew about. But there was definitely someone somebody in there. in there as we were walking in. Yes. They heard us come in and they bolted at that door. Yeah. And they did not deadbolt it back. <laughs> so no, they couldn't. They're right. Because they had no reason to be in there. I wish we would have paid attention to maybe who came out the top of the stairs. Oh, like waited kind of? Yeah, like but they could have just went out the front door too. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like they they went out the bottom, and then they went back up the stairs to go out the front of the apartment. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see. Yeah. Well, well we I mean, we weren't wait. fucking thinking about that. We were gonna wait to find yeah. out. Yeah. The lucky I put the key back. Right. So we leave. We make the decision we're not gonna stay there at least for the time being until we figure out, out everything. <sighs> three females. New York. Sex Ske- trafficking. Sketchy ass street. Apparently, yeah. Apparently our street was like, can be sketchy at times. And <laughs> as you're waiting by your car, you hear that woman yelling. Oh, God. She, well, she was she, scre- she was it's screaming. Like she was saying help. Yeah. But it was like, screechy, high pitched, crazy sounding. And it was, like, getting louder and louder and louder as she was screaming. And, like, you see people, like, so this was still 435. So there's no one really on the street. But I'm, I'm like, what? We never saw her. We never did. She probably got kidnapped. But we did see that cop go, oh, my God, it was. But I get on the phone. Or, no, I messaged her first. Right. You messaged her. I say, hey. We can't stay here because we are uncomfortable. Yeah. She asked why. Understandable. I told her why. Her response, it's fine. Go inside. <laughs> what? Yeah. I feel like she was up, she had something to do with this. She got five stars um, because nobody lives to give her a bad review. Because <laughs> they probably take her their phone. You know, I'm going to leave this review real quick. Right? I never left her a review. But, yeah, she's like, still in. I checked the cameras. I didn't see anything. Her listen said nothing about cameras. Yeah. There's nothing. Actually, it said there is no cameras. So she's either lying. Yeah. Or she has secret cameras that no one knows about. And so that's she's illegal. Watch shower. And that's illegal as fuck. Yeah. So we're going to get kidnapped and recorded. Or and not paid. Kidnapped. Yeah. And not paid. Please no. get the footage. Yeah, we ain't getting no money. So, yeah, she didn't want to. She debated with you. And then, like, completely cut off contact. Yes, and that's when I got in touch with Airbnb. <laughs> you throw him a cash app us for food. <laughs> he left. He did, yeah. He said he would if it wasn't recorded, right? Yeah, because it's like like, he had the conversations are recorded and he was really nice. He was really nice, yeah. But I feel like everybody on the Airbnb side, I understand that they they probably get people that scam them all the fucking all the time. time. I'm sure they do. And they also have Hosts that probably are dickheads all the fucking time. I feel like for the most part, Airbnb was really, really, really trying to get our money back. Yes. Yeah. But our friend got us an Airbnb, or not Airbnb, a hotel. That was very nice. But you can't check in until 3. Well, in this part, it's 7 a.m. We've been sitting in my car. For hours. In Brooklyn. We watched the sunrise. That was cool. That was pretty neat, you know. We watched the scum kind of emerge. Watched the, the cops come out. The cops came out. Um, you know, uh, people going to work, walking around like weird. That lady wasn't just screaming, right? Like <laughs> just normal. So yeah, our friend, we did, like we didn't even ask. We were just like, what, what are we gonna do? We still didn't even know what we were gonna do. I need to give her money still. So. I mean, yeah, me too. And. uh Next thing we know, we have a hotel room for the next one in in Times Square at the Hilton. So there's parking. I'm nervous because now it's what Thursday Thursday morning. Yeah, it's Thursday morning at like seven thirty. Everyone's going to work. Everyone's going to work, and I'm like, and this is what we were trying to avoid. That's why we left that certain time. Yeah, and that's why we were staying in Brooklyn so we didn't have to drive to the city. I'm Here a fucking go. beast. You did that shit. I fucking did it. You did that shit. I fucking did it. 
And it was awesome. I've, it was like a, I mean, maybe I just drive like that normally here. But I, I mean, I was just whipping through shit. The only thing that frustrated me was the, um, when we were trying to find the hotel river, we dropped, Oh yeah. We dropped Sarah off and we were trying to find the, the back part. I got so frustrated. It was so hard. Yeah. Because there's like one way streets and then, ah, uh, this, you know, you think you can take a left at this next one and you can't, you got to go up three blocks and you got, it's. So it took us like 10 minutes to make a U-turn. Yeah, it did. It took us 10 minutes to make a U-turn. But we kind of figured out where things were at that time. Yeah. You know, we, okay, well, that's there. That's there. All right. Well, they took our luggage, took your car. We, they said, they go, we don't know where it's going to be. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Didn't it be like a block away? Yeah. I had the, on my app, like I could see where my car was. Which at first I was like, what do you mean you don't know where it's going to be? Because like I thought, you know, hotels have like maybe a designated garage yeah. for them. I, I don't know. I guess maybe there's different floors. I'm like, where you know, it should be in the last place you put it. <laughs> right? Like someone's taking a drawer ride. Yeah, like who's taking my car? But I don't know. But remember we did see those like parking where garage. Where sit in it. When it goes up. <laughs> like, sit in your car. Yeah, it, like, loops your car around. Yeah. So, like... Somebody sent me money for this bill. <laughs> From Sam. So, um, and it's crazy, because, like, you'll have, like, the smallest area in New York, and you have to see 60 cars parked like, so on top of each other. Crazy. And they, like, just back these cars like in these little lifts. It's like a little... Vending machine. Yeah, it's like a little vending machine for ours. Yeah. Nope. No. Nope, not mine. But ours was in... I guess ours was in a... Um, a garage. Area. Yeah. And uh, they were like, get, get all your shit. They made it seem so important that we get everything we need out of the car. Because we couldn't get it back or something. Yeah, they were like, we don't know... Well, that's when they said, we don't know where your car will be to go get your stuff. And I'm like... So I guess what they would do is we'd go down, they'd go to get our car, they'd bring our car, we get what we need, they go and they park it again. Yeah. So I, I guess that makes sense. Like, at, like as far as efficiency goes, like, Fair enough. makes sense. So. You had to find something to do till 3 p.m. Yeah. So from what? 8.30 to 3 p.m. we had to find something to do. So we went out to eat. We got breakfast. Y'all are taking shots at 8.30 in the morning. Yeah. I was drinking my... Chocolate milky. Yeah. Food is not good. Terrible. The fucking worst. I guess, like, when you're in a big city, like, when you're in a restaurant, like, industry, like, you don't care. You don't give a shit. Like. They're all tourists, usually. So yeah. Just, like, you're in and out. Like, they, yeah. they literally are the rushiest people in the world. Are you ready to order? Are you ready to order? Like, four different people. Yeah. I'm like, nah, dude, I can't even read the menu yet. Like, I thought you up with drinks, though. We did. God, they were fucking huge drinks. And then, um, yeah, that was a terrible breakfast. Did we walk to the Central Park Zoo? Yeah, we walked to, yeah. Central Park is bumping. There's a lot of people there. At, like, the whole nanny baby situation. Oh, yeah. It's uh, crazy to me <laughs> that... I mean, okay, so, I mean, I guess it's not really a big deal, but, like, you know, you send your kids to daycare, they stay in, like, one yeah. location, or, you know, you'll have a babysitter or whatever. you got these, like, foreign people taking your kids and meeting up with other foreign people. Or just any kind of people. And, like, it's, I mean, do these people not see their kids ever? Doesn't seem like it. I I wanna I wanna interview. Like I, these nannies probably make way more money than we make. Oh, 100 percent Like, I don't know, but it was like a whole it was a fucking crew of them. It was like a school of them. Yeah. So I mean whatever. That's I don't know. I would just feel unsafe yes. having my kid fucking gallivanting around New York City. Yeah. But I mean I guess if you live in a place like that, you can it's normal. Like Yeah. So it's normal. We did that. What, what did we do after that? That's when we walked to the hotel and y'all took a little nap, a little nappy nap in the, um. Oh, in the, uh, lobby. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we were waiting to get our room. I couldn't sleep cause I was so scared that people would steal our bags. 
Oh, yeah, because we had all our stuff at the time. Yeah. What were we waiting for? Just for them to open our room. And the one person told us that it was, like, open, like, an hour and a half. Apparently, I went to the wrong person. How do they, how is it? Mm. And that's when I was like, we can't go to sleep. We got to stay up. God, we stayed up. Till, like, 4 a.m. What did we do that night? The first night, no, we... I don't know. Did we do the Beetlejuice thing? Not that night. That was terrible, too. What did we do that night? I don't know. I'm going to have to go through my phone real quick because... Was that the Wax Museum night? Yes. Was maybe, it was night? The, maybe it was the Wax Museum night. Um... I mean, I don't, I don't know. Oh. This whole, that whole two days blended together. God, yes. Okay, now we gotta do research. Yeah. Yeah, we did the, we did the Central Park Zoo. Oh yeah, we did the Wax Museum. We, we went, went to Italian. Night. Yeah. We went to Italian that night too? Yeah. Why do I feel like that was like the third? That's what I, yeah. Yeah, we did the Wax Museum. I can't go through all my nudes just to find New York pictures, which are also nudes. Hi. Yeah, a lot of pictures in here. I didn't take much on the second day. Yeah, second day was when we did the Beetlejuice thing. Which was terrible. Fucking horrible. I had such high hopes for that. Well, I want to know how it got such, like, high reviews. I don't know. I heard nothing but good things about it. The food was terrible. The entertainment was terrible. The decor was cool. The music was good. What? The fucking... It was like old emo music. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was good. That was, that was about, good. That was about it. Terrible. It, the, the menu made absolute no sense. There was gumbo. I got the gumbo appetizer. It was so... Okay, so it was a Beetlejuice... Tim dinner, Burton. Dinner show. Tim Burton yeah. dinner show type thing. Wednesday Adams isn't even a part of Beetlejuice. What the fuck is that even it's about? Just Tim yeah, but still. Yeah, I guess so. What was? And she did like the TikTok dance, which is for like twelve minutes. She should have done the original. Or this one? No, that's monsters. Yeah. No, this is Wendy. I don't know. Wednesday? I don't know. It made no sense. It was like all over the place. It was like it was seriously like a restaurant that needed a gimmick, and was like, we're gonna jump on this. And, uh, I guarantee you it's probably, like, they employ, like, employ people that want to do, like, Broadway and acting and yeah. stuff. Oh, God. It has so much potential. But it was terrible. That's the night that we had Mexican, like, an hour before we had to be there. Remember? Was it? Yeah. We ate Mexican, like, super late. Sarah wanted Mexican food, and then we already had reservations. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, it is. That's what, That was a good taco place. That, that was really good, actually. That was the best food we had there. No, we had Italian. No, maybe mm -hmm. we didn't. I don't even know where we're at anymore. That day went by. We went to the strip club. We did go to the strip club. Terrible. <laughs> Mediocre at best. Yeah. Like, Terrible. Yeah. Um, the girls didn't want to be there. No. They didn't want to be there. They, like, not going to lie. Like, it reminds me of, like, us at work. Like, there, you uh, have... At least we smile. Usually. Most of us. I, I'm not. I'm straight stank face behind my mic. What? <laughs> um, $20 to get in. $25 to get in. For and us. we couldn't get in originally because we didn't have a guy with us. Yeah. They wouldn't let us inside. Weird shit going on outside. <laughs> the, yeah, we had to be escorted by a dude. So we tried to join this guy and his girlfriend. We were like, no. hey, do you want to be our escort? And they like looked at us like we were fucking weird. I'm like, no, seriously, like we can't come in without a dude. We're like, we have money. We're like, do we need a dude each person or like just one dude to count for all of us? Knock it the fuck off. The dog's following me. <laughs> <coughs> um, they finally let us in. Why? Because I pinky promise. Oh, pinky, pinky promises promise. go a long way. Okay. They do. I pinky promise. 
the biggest, tallest, darkest man ever. And he was the suit. Yeah. He was like, okay. <laughs> He's like, all right, I believe you. And then he ended up knowing we, our he, club. Yeah, he come he has a cousin or something that he comes to visit, and he's been to our club. He ain't come. I'm about to whoop this motherfucker's ass. Shut. Go play. We're doing no guests today. It's the first time in a while. Yeah. Ugh. No guests. We couldn't take our purses in there. No, we took all of our stuff. We yeah, we were like yeah, we couldn't even wear our jackets in there. Oh yeah. We had to leave our cold. jackets. So we get in. What the fuck else? That girl snuck drinks on our tab. Oh yeah, a stripper. A little, little talky talk. I don't a little know. Little pet talk. I don't know where it got off. It's not about strippers. Oh, put oh yeah, the, the girl, I mean, she did a great job doing her, doing what she needed to do. She lied though. She said, I said it was okay. Yeah, that's true. I didn't even drink. Why would I tell you it's okay to drink? Yeah. She puts a fucking margarita on her. Even just the tea, the Tito's, what I get, Tito's cranberry? Yeah. That was like a $13 drink. Answer got charged twice that night, remember? Yeah, she got charged twice. Yeah. Scams. Actually, I feel like she got charged a lot for stuff. But, like, double. Yeah. She got charged at the wax museum. Strip club. Yeah. She's just got a double truck. That's my tummy growling. You need that Taco Bell. I do. You need that Taco Bell. Um, yeah, because we only had, me and her only had two drinks each. You got a soda. It was like $8. I'm so scared that soda. It came in like a whiskey glass with like a lime. Yeah. I mean, it's fancy. It's fancy. We tasted it. There was no alcohol. I know. Um, uh, because I I don't like whiskey and that would have been terrible. I would have noticed right away. Um, there was like one dude in there spending money. And then that group of dudes came in and wanted to hang out with us. <laughs> You're like, nope, nope, can't talk to you. The, talk to you. Yeah, this group of guys come in. So we had been there for what, maybe 45 minutes yeah. already? So we have shown that we're tipping. We're, to the ones who deserve it. Right, saying. yeah, not to everybody. No. Um. Where, you know, we had dancers sitting with us. We were all talking. Like, the door guy was, like, super tight. That's when we found out he yeah, has family, he so cool. family down here. So, these this group of dudes come in. And they told us that we are not allowed to interact with male customers. We could have made this girl so much money. We could, yeah. We could have made her so much fucking money. And sneak some. And, <laughs> yeah. And maybe got some on our own. But, yeah. So, these dudes... It's a what there was like seven of them, yeah. And they got they got this bottle service, which is crazy because it looks like a a booth, like with a pole on a, it. A, 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 yeah, they had a but table. There's no room to dance on it. Yeah, yeah. You, you got it. You got a <laughs> bucket of ice and drinks and stuff. But whatever. I guess you got to spend money to sit there. Yeah. So they see us. They're trying to buy us drinks. And, like, they're walking over, and I'm like, no, nah, you can't talk to us. I was like, you're going to get us kicked out. And we're like, no, we're serious. And he was like, he thought we were just being, like, kind of asshole. He's like, you don't want to talk to us? I'm like, we can't. Like, we literally can't talk to you. He got scaredy. Yeah. He went and was like, why can't I buy these girls a drink? And that's when I was like, I, go. <laughs> I was like, dude, he can't just, like, send one over, like, from the waitress. Like, you're fucking their your own money up. So, whatever. I mean... Look, if I'm going to try to find a dude to spend money on me, like, we would have left a long time ago. We wouldn't have waited that long no. if we were just trying to find money. We're trying to have a fucking good time. Trying to scout places to dance. Maybe we go up there. Not that place. Not that place. Nope. But, yeah, um, that was the longest. That was, like, the third day we were there. Yeah, I don't even know. I was, that was the day we went, we went to, to Chelsea. Oh, because we went to the Japanese festival. Yes, that was random. It was fun. That was cool. We did that and we went to... Inked. Inked. I met them. Uh, the counter girl was on their Instagram the other day. I was trying to look for her at. I could find her. Yeah. She was so sweet. Yeah. And then we went to the sex museum. Yes. That was so fun. That was great. It was fun. There was, and it had like a um, like a carnival. With games. Wiener games. Wiener games. Oh my god. Yeah. The I, glory hole. We got to send the glory <laughs> hole. Do you have the makeout one? Yes. All right. Oh wait. 
Sarah does. Yeah. Sarah has the makeup one. We made out for the first time in New York. Yeah. And we I it won was, a prize. It was nice. Oh, wait. That's the second night. time. <laughs> oh, yeah. We all made out. We all made out in New York. It was fun. That was before I had a friend visit. <laughs> so we got to make another makeup video. So we can sell it. <laughs> yes. It was fun. I think the first one would sell pretty well, too. Because yeah, she doesn't have an online thing. Should we ever make one real quick? Can you make one just so we can sell it? I think I think all she has to do is sign up. Should I post the one about her like laughing all the time and like yes, me going and she's like hee hee. <laughs> Sarah's just like okay, let's, I'm like let's do let's it, do this, fucking do it. It's like ready to go, like being all serious and stuff. And then the other Sarah's just like hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got cookies at night. Took me three hours almost to get those cookies. Yes. Please. I had so much time. <laughs> so much it's time. It's really about cookies and, like, stuff. <laughs> it's always the same brand cookies, too. And we definitely got We definitely got to order cookies again. Yeah, Can't order cookies. Time. Wait, so if there's two, does that mean we double cookies? Rich, Rick, Rick James got to go get them. Well, they just get delivered. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we got the Airbnb. <laughs> We're going to have rooms. <laughs> were they Airbnb? Were, were they Airbnb? Were they delivered in New York? Yeah, but to the wrong hotel. That's what took so long. Oh, okay. And then I had a fight with them, but they were so good. Yeah. Oh. And that tub of icing. Oh, God. And they didn't have milk, so I go get you milk. I had a hot, like, a pint. Was it a liter? <laughs> a liter of milk. Oh, I love milk. I love milk. Milk gets you. We're going to do a milk photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. In, in New one? York. Or New Richmond. Richmond. Just, I'm just gonna dump it all over me. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'll spit it in your mouth. Okay. I'll let it waterfall. <laughs> just all down my face. Oh man, New York was nice. Nice views. Yeah. Yeah. Nice company. Overall, it was a good time. Yeah. I couldn't live there. No. If I had, if I was rich as fuck, yeah, I could live there. No. Because, oh, I just spilled my coffee all over me. Um, I don't even, what the fuck am I doing in my life? Ew. Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you have to have money to live in New York. I don't know. Do you? I, I mean. I guess it depends on what part. I mean, if, you, if you're driving, you won't have a car. If, if you're just us right now, okay. you don't have a car, so you're subway all the time, or walking. Subway sounds so good right now. Oh, yeah. I love subway. Anyway, oh, walking. Um, I just feel like it, in order to live in New York, you got to have money. Like, it's like $2,000 for an apartment that's just, just the size of my living room. I should ask. That, why do you think they got, like, eight people living in a house? <laughs> Like, I mean, I am curious now. Yeah, I, be, I bet you their rent is four grand for a house. Yeah, both my mortgages. <laughs> yeah. I bet yeah. you it, when we were walking in, on the High Line in Chelsea, those were fucking expensive. Million, ten million dollars. You should have knocked them on the door. Yeah, I mean, I'm be a four. Showing my titties to people. <laughs> but it's like, okay. It's crazy to me how there are so many people with money. They're rich, cons considering to here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, there's like rich people here, but you're paying ten million dollars to live on an old old train line. Like you literally have tourists walking by your house every, every day. fucking day, every day, all day, every day. And um, it'd be worth it if it was jogs. Right. You can't even bring your dogs up there. That was the dumbest thing ever, too. But, um, ha, like, where are all these people? What do they do? Right. Where are these jobs? Because, like, I would really like to have a place that's, you know what I could get for $10 million here? A, a whole goddamn city, probably. I mean, we have a farm. All the fucking animals and be able to fucking How's that? knock it off. 
I think he's staring at his skin. He's looking right at you. He. Dude. He's such a fucking he. I know it's him that fucking chewed up my plant this morning. Because Mishka was like loving all over me and he was like cowering every time. I need to chuck his teeth. Teeth is his. A fucking idiot. Um, Man. But yeah, like, fucking, what the fuck are these people doing? Like, you're either really poor in New York or you're like rich. It's not in between. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, like, I don't. We, like, I could not live there no. with, the, with the money that we're making. Could you imagine leaving the strip club and, like, get on a subway? Fuck that. Robbed and raped. Possibly murdered. I watched too much Law and Order. I don't watch it. Good. Because. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe I should start watching it. But, yeah. That was our trip. Oh, in the way back, we stopped in Maryland for steam legs. Crab yeah. legs. Crab legs. Oh. They were good. So good. There was a lot. A lot. I ate a lot of stuff. But there was ribs. Yeah. Was they weird. came with ribs. I didn't eat the ribs. That was weird. Yeah. I, didn't I want the crab legs now. I got crab legs the other day and... Where'd you go? I went to Chicks. I mean, like, it was... Yeah. Uh, I feel... What is... So, when I was breaking them, the meat wasn't coming out. Like, stuck to the side? Yeah. Is that overcooked? I think that means they're undercooked. Yeah? I think. And, like, my butter soup got hard. Yeah, the butter wasn't, like, hot when it was not. Okay. Like, it was melted, but it wasn't hot. And when I was making my my soup, like, it literally hardened. Oh, like, got, like, crystallized in this? So that happened to me, like, when I went to work there. Yeah, it started just fucking gelling up. Yeah. yeah. Like, getting, yeah, I'm like, ugh. It's like a paste. Yeah. Like, yeah. God, I really want crab legs now. Yeah. I gotta fucking work early tonight. It's going to say Saturday, but I won't be here. Yeah, you'll be out of town. I'm going to be naked by a pool. Jealous. You're always invited. I got to work. I got to fucking pay for this dump. <laughs> Fair enough. Last week was good. Last week was good. I, yeah. Saturday was good. I danced Saturday. Yeah. So I have Thursday and Friday make money. You have Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Next week I have all weekend. And then we leave the second. We need um, food recommendations in Richmond, Virginia. And I want to go to a dance party. Oh, yeah. We want to go out. I want to go to like an 80s dance party. Oh, good. Mishka's boyfriend's here. She can, he can distract her. So whatever. But now she's distracted. So that's good. Yeah. 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 We got to find stuff to do in Richmond. 80s dance party. I want to do it. When I lived there, there was like just the it was a DJ and it wasn't like <sighs> fucking all this rap music. Like there wasn't like people like sitting around like doing this. People were fucking dancing. People were fucking people got dr like dressed up and went dancing. And it was awesome. It was like it was like 80s night here okay. at the wave. I used to love the wave. Yeah, it it's, was like the wave. I used to love the wave. And so when I left Richmond and came back home, that's where we would go. We'd go yeah. to the wave. We'd go to 80s night, and then they would have the goth night or whatever. Thursday nights. Every Thursday night. Okay, I'll do some research. Yeah. I miss it. I just want to dance. We'll have one at, at that Airbnb. Yeah. I'll bring speakers. Please. I'll bring my speaker. Let's have a dance party. But yeah, we're are we gonna we're gonna try to find some trails, different trails or same trails. Just find out. Yeah, I'll see what's out there. Bell's Isle is always fun. Though. Yeah, maybe we can find like an extension. Tell you, I mean, like I said, me and Heather walked it. It was like nine miles. Yeah, but we went the whole like perimeter and over the bridge and back. Yeah, and then. uh we're going to do Maymon again? Can we feed the cows? Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. We can do Maymon. Oh, we can be right there. Oh, yeah, that's right. We could probably walk to it. Sometimes. Yeah. Okay. So we can, we can bring a little baggie for food. Yes. And um, well, can we bring our own food? I don't know. What kind of food are you going to bring it? I don't know. Like, like buy chicken feed and bring it? 
I mean, don't you have chicken feet? Yeah, I do. Because, like, they, they only give you, like, a little bit. The goats can't get the chicken feet. It's bad for them. Well, let's try to find petting zoo pellets. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Amazon petting zoo pellets. Um, what was I going to say? Uh-huh. Oh, then we got to go find that cafe or the, <laughs> the um, I don't know if it's a bakery, cafe, coffee shop. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, the one you talked about. <laughs> the cream pies. I'm trying to get a cream pie. Apparently, they have what it, my friend said. It's the best cream pie you'll ever have in your entire life. Ooh! And I was like, I find out. But we have to go early. He said they sell out quick. So we all gotta wake up. Yeah, in Carytown, just. But I haven't been. I mean, we went there. What? No, that was two years ago. A year ago? It was, I think it was almost two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, it was almost two years ago. We only went for a night. Yeah. This time we're going for it. And it was November, yeah. so it was, it was cold. chilly. It was cold. We're going to have fun. Are we going to do a museum? I want to. Okay. So oh, we're, we're pretty thing. much leaving Sunday. Yeah. We can leave Sunday whenever the fuck yeah. we want. Yeah. We just got to be out there maybe at like noon or something. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I hope it's fun. I yeah. hope it works out for all of us. Right. Ugh, watch it not. I can't be a negative, Nancy. We got money, though. We got cash money. Yeah, I'm going to fucking... Like, yo, what, what's the deal? I only ask, like, once a week. I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask every single day up until we leave now. Let's see. Oh, hey. God, he's so cute. You're so nice. Yeah. He's very nice. Very polite. Very. Very polite. Very rare these days. It's, yeah. Then we got $2 cash. Oh, man. Who's this? Should I just fire a picture of my tits? Titties. Might as well. <laughs> now, since I have your attention. <laughs> Alright, cool. Done. Done and done. I've got to, I just, we need to change this pencil appointment to pen. It just <laughs> needs to be permanent. Huh. Sharpie. Yeah, Sharpie that shit. I mean, that's why I slept in on, um, before we were getting ready to go to New York. Fucking dick appointments. Just crazy. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah. I'm so wild. I've been getting crazy. <laughs> you know, I, like, sucked odd dick. It was pretty cool. Oh. I was single. Oh, oh no, too. <laughs> I sucked two dicks. <laughs> Such a four. <laughs> oh. Well, you want to know what? What? They were bigger than my exes. <laughs> I think everyone's is bigger than God, okay. Like, dude. Ever since... Wait, I've been... do you want to talk about this on podcast? Yeah, so... Pardon me. Oh, God damn. Mark just... that again. We're, we're going to have to, like, edit this whole segment. <laughs> I'm going to get a message be like, she serious? Do I need to cut this all out? Right now. We're gonna. It's just gonna be bleep after bleep after bleep. bleep. <laughs> yeah. Let's see it off the off the dick subjects. We'll make it like a SpongeBob episode when they cuss. It's like <laughs> 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 Oh man. Yeah. So now I'm trying to get some strange. <laughs> not. I guess not strange, but. I like. I haven't even. I think I want to have sex, but I don't want to have sex. Yeah, good set. Okay, so I had this conversation with my friend the other day. And, you know, I had, I had brought up to him, I'm like, you know, I'm not, like, crazy in bed. Yeah. I'm just, like, I, I'm not a marathon sexer. I'm not, like, a... You're not kinky, but you want to have fun. I want, like, I'm, I want to come, essentially. I, like, I guess, like, my mentality is, like, sex equals coming and... The easiest way to get there. 
Okay. Right? Like, Fair enough. I don't want, I'm, I guess I'm very impatient. Um, but also dudes are dumb. Um, and anytime, like anytime you sit and try to, um, talk to a dude about what you want in bed, yeah, they, they take it as something. No, they don't even just like, it's not even, a, they get so like, they get insecure about it because one, you're, whatever they're doing is not doing it for you. So yeah. now they feel like shit. Right. I mean, I get it. That's, you know, my mom's um, different. I mean, yeah, so, but they, they make it seem like such an intimate, like, relationship talk. It's, it's not, like, it's sex, like, you know, so. It's here for a good time. <laughs> right. So, like, you know, obviously, it, in the last year, sex hasn't been able to be fun because of circumstances. Um... But I made do because I could still come. Like, I could still make myself come. You okay. know what I mean? Fair enough. Um, so I was like, all right, you know, I'm not, like, feeling to be slapped in the face and called a whore. So I'm like, all right, I don't I don't need to worry about... You just want someone else to make you come. I mean, I can, like, lay like this and just go to bed. You know? Yeah, I'm a little pillow princess. So, um... I was told the reason I'm like this is because I haven't had good sex. And I'm like, but good sex to me is not good sex to you or that person or that person. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not a get dick down person. <laughs> well, you're trying to get dick down. I mean, like, in the, in the, in the sense of it, yes. But, like, I'm not trying to get, like, I'm not trying to feel a dick in my throat from behind me. You know, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a very gentle person. I'm a baby. <laughs> Don't say that while you're outside. <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> I'm just a baby. <laughs> like, like, you know, like I see, I see these girls like talk about like sex and they like choke me until I pass out. And I'm like, ooh, no, not me. Like, I don't, I mean, I like uh, my hair. You know, I'm like, just fucking brush my braid my hair for me. Like, <laughs> it from the back braid of your hair. You want pigtails or like one big one? <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm not so like, I don't know if people don't think you can have like gentle sex and it not be good sex. Like, why do I gotta get punched in the face to have good sex? Like, why, like, why do my arms have to be restrained for me to have good sex? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm a fan of edging. Great. It's perfect. I love it. I don't it. want to get raped. I'm just going back to fucking New Right. York. Right. Like, I mean, I'm not trying. I, like, I don't know. So now that I'm like discovering all this stuff about me fucking 37 years later. Oh, we're not done discovering. Yeah, we're, we're not done. <laughs> but it's like, I found out that like, I can't like initiate anything like, sober. But not, like, blackout or, like, fucked up. But, like, I couldn't be like, all right, let's, you know, let's just fucking go and fuck right now. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. It's not, I mean, it's not weird, but, like, I'm weird. <laughs> and it's like I only fuck people that I'm in a relationship with. Or potential relationship with. All these, like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have a whole ass fucking girlfriend. But, um. The ones they don't stand me up. <laughs> <laughs> right? But all these dudes are like friends with benefits. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. But like, you also said that you're okay with like an open thing too. Yeah, Is that friends with benefits. I guess. No, I mean not really. Not if you have like one main partner. But it's like, a, oh yeah, like, yeah, an open relationship of like one main partner. But at the same time, I'm like, if you're my friend, like, yeah, you know. Like, I'm literally, like, burping and being disgusting in front of these dudes. Like, I'm not showering. I mean, like, I am. But, you know, like, when they come over, I'm like, wink, wink. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not, like, trying. You know, like, I'm not trying to look hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because it's not going nowhere. Romantically. Yeah. You know, or, like, like relationship. You don't talk to anyone. anymore. It's like, okay, bye. Yeah, I'm like, what's the point? I mean, like, there's, I, like, it's, and it's not, not that I don't enjoy these people's company. Yeah. But I'm kind of like, 
I don't need fucking friends. I got enough friends as it is. Right? And I don't even know why I want to be in a relationship. I don't. So I, I, my problem is, how am I going to get past this shit? The hoe phase or? No, how do, I need to like get into this hoe phase. Like my hoe phase is like. You're trying to be a hoe. I'm trying. And my. You can't pay them enough. <laughs> I'm going to fight this motherfucker. Like, fuck you. And see, that's easy. That that whole situation is easy because it's, you know, not here. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like when, like when, when dudes want to like take me out to dinner and like do stuff with me. But not be in a relationship. Yeah. I'm like, which, which is like in what? my battery about to die, even though it said it was like, Fool. Well, that's some fool shit. <laughs> Our camera died. <laughs> as soon as I said that. So, this okay. Is, this is her my butt. What is it? Like the, like the, the pants. Well, yours are like in your pants. Mine are like, a, like above it. It's because my butt. Ooh, girl. A fart. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is why dudes don't want to date me. Um... So like in like in my head, I'm getting like the boyfriend experience without the boyfriend, which is which should be like awesome for me. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, you don't waste time. Eh. Eh. <laughs> You're not my real dad. <laughs> it's not. It's. Not, I guess it's not a challenge. Okay. Maybe it's too easy. Maybe I just love the drama. Is it me? Is it? It's me. I know. <laughs> Am it's I me. the drama? Am I? <laughs> What is it? <laughs> it's me. Hi. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. Um. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I Like, I'm just, I don't know what the fuck I want. Don't want kids. Know that for a fact. Are mine. I got a, I got a brand new baby. She I got a baby. House. I got a baby, guys. Does she look great? She look fucking great. Yeah, I have a new nephew. You hear me, that aunt, like, hungover with, like, sunglasses on at a family event? I was high as fuck when I walked into the fucking hospital room. <laughs> oh, I, Sarah's here. I can smell her. <laughs> like, oh, Aunt Sarah's here, this crazy broad. Yeah, this motherfucker already has property. Like, I'm changing to, I'm leaving to him everything of mine. Yeah. I mean, where else is it going to go to? I mean, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> the dogs? <laughs> the dogs. He's got, he's got... Like, he just, like, was born into a family with <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, I got shit to give to anybody else, so. You get my plants? <laughs> all the plants, all the squishmallows. <laughs> but, yeah. No, he's precious. He's so precious. He's a week old yesterday. Oh, my God. How much did you cry? I ugly cried like a son of a bitch. <laughs> I, just my face was, like, the whole time. And, like, yeah, like, so, like, when it's, you know, my friends, you know, having kids, like, different. you know, like, I'm like, oh, you know, what's up? Like, I'm not the first person who's seen them, you know? Yeah. So, um, my, you know, I, I went to the hospital with my parents and, um, you know, like, I, like, I filmed them, like, walking yeah. in. I, I wanted, I wanted their initial reaction. Cause, like, I don't know, like, that's the kind of, you know. Yeah. I like to see that shit. So, um, oh man, my dad, I've only seen him like get emotional, like a handful of times. My brother's wedding, uh, when he dropped me off at college, <laughs> he was pissed and he had to pick you back up. Yeah. He's sure. so mad. We actually didn't <laughs> talk for two years after that. Um, when my grandma, when my mom's mom died, when my mom's dad died. And then like, some random stuff here and there. I think it was like maybe one of my college cheer things. I don't fucking know. But I like, I've never, my dad is so like, he's Japanese, you know, so it's, you could be amazing, but you need to be better. So I, for some reason, <laughs> was treated like the firstborn son. <laughs> uh, my brother is completely like, spoiled in a different way like i'm spoiled as shit but like because you're the baby because i'm the baby um but watching my dad get so emotional like 
was uh, maybe if I can tear. I mean, I knew my mom was gonna lose her shit. So, yeah. but um, so my mom held the baby, and then um, uh, she was like, "Okay, it's your turn," and I'm like, "Nah, dude, like, give it to dad." She's like, "No, you you hold him," and I'm like, "No." So my dad's like got this baby. Are you scared to hold him? Like, oh God, he's so tiny. <laughs> You don't want your hands. I, oh, yeah. I was like, what do I do? You know? Uh, the other day, I was like whipping him around. It was crazy. This ain't a husky. I'm like, this, yo, this thing is not tough. <laughs> like, <laughs> man up. Just like, fuck up. So, yeah, my dad's like holding him and he's crying. And, oh, my God. So, his his name is Grand Dude. It, he doesn't want Grandpa. It's Grand, Grand Dude. Dude. Yeah. That's really funny. And um, I, uh, I don't know if I should, but I'm TT Sarah, and <laughs> and I why. think I got to change that. <laughs> why? Well, because it will TT Auntie, you know. Yeah. So my neighbor has been calling me TT, and um, I guess like the the right way would be Tita because I'm a girl, but uh, Titty. Yeah, Titty, Titty yeah, Sarah. So you know that's like that's how my nephew was introduced to me. Um, but he's fucking cute. He shit on me like twice. That's gonna happen a lot more than that. I know. It was crazy. So he's I got to like put on his clothes. Like on you? (laughs) 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 We traded some clothes. Um my brother is an amazing dad. It is crazy. Like oh my god. Switch. Yeah, it like it. Like, even just, like, physically. Like, I can see a a complete change in him. He goes, that's from being tired. Okay, it makes sense. But, like, he literally looks like a grown-ass man now. So, like, I'm, like, like, fucking emotional. Like, yeah. And, um, yeah, dude. Insane. Like, he's all up in it. This motherfucker gets 12 weeks of maternity leave? My brother. What? 12 weeks of maternity leave. Paternity leave must be nice right i'm like that's cool so him and him and his wife are um they got three months together yeah. i just thought of what i hope we didn't erase the last recording you think of it right <laughs> would it what do you think of the quick break technical difficulties just so i know how to react My anxiety was like, <laughs> like that one time we recorded a full episode without me checking the audio. And it was terrible. Mm. All right, so we're good though. Yeah, we need microphones. Oh, cool. I want, I, I want to do the setup, like you know, the multi views. Well, we have. To, I mean, we have two cameras. So we can I know. do that. You just have to have it set up by the time we get. You. Okay. Like the little cool it's- stand. Yeah. Like with the microphones. Or do we want handheld for practicing? I mean, I want, I mean, either or. I'll do some research. <laughs> we need money. Send it. They probably would if we actually, like. Well, we can't keep recording if we don't got the right equipment. Is that why we don't record? <laughs> Is that why? Look, we've been busy. We're always busy. We had a baby. We had a baby. Travel. Travel. Almost got kidnapped. Yeah. Yeah, because we were supposed to record and that's when last week and we had a baby. Yeah, yep. Yep. Oh yeah, the main question was uh for men, remember? We were supposed to ask like how much would it cost for you to suck off another dude? Oh yeah. This was yeah, we that was uh We had a lot of like off the wall answers. The best was two thousand. Was it two thousand? Yeah. That's the best one, like the most reasonable. The person you asked said three. Yeah. But everyone else is like a million. Yeah. That ain't reasonable. Yeah. What the fuck? That's not reasonable at all. If there was a, I mean, was it gun to your head? No. Like, or you just go home with someone. Cash. Cash. No one has to know. It's a few dollars. Oh, that one. I'm going to fight this fucking fly. It'd be so funny if throw a punch and you actually hit it. Mm. Sorry, three punches. Mm. Is that not right? 
<laughs> you take your friend's glasses. <laughs> I'm I'm not a fighter. It's, <laughs> it's I've had the doors open so the dog like yeah. yesterday I mean, the dogs can go in and out and there's like fly in here now. I've been doing that too. Yeah. So the question was how much would you get paid or how much would you ask for? Or what's your price? What's your price? What would your price be to suck off another dude? Another dude? I guess a girl can answer this too. But I feel like girls are going to be so much lower. Yeah. I mean, like, is it a, a random dude I don't know? Is it a hot dude? Is it... Um, what if it's weekly? What if they paid you, like, $2,000 to do it once a week for as long as you would do it? Uh, see, I have this thing called a seven-minute suck-off. And this is just in, like, relationships or regular hookups. If I have to suck your dick longer than seven minutes, you're going to start paying me. Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not, like, sucking a dick longer than seven minutes. Get to the point. That's when you just hop on top of it. Right. Well, and on. then that's when the price changes even more. So, I don't know if it would work for girls. Because, yeah, girls, we could just, you know... I mean, I'm not sucking off some random gross dude no. for free. <laughs> right? No, we need a new podcast. So, <laughs> so where's the little at? Where's the little at? Um, uh, so, for a guy, it's like... Be reasonable. Right. We got 2000 3000 And then all these dudes are like, I would do it for like $10 million, $2 million. That's... And yeah. and to be honest, I seriously doubt those dudes would even do it for two million dollars. No. no, it'd have to be cash. Okay, you still wouldn't do it. You still wouldn't do it. I would. I would do it for two million dollars. I would do it for three thousand dollars. I need some bills paid, and I want to do set of tits. <laughs> Call <Cool. laughs> At this point, if it's going to be weekly, we might as well be in a relationship. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, so. I mean, I, what would be the girl equivalent to that? I don't know. Because, I mean, like, girls aren't afraid to eat another girl's vagina. For free. Yeah. I mean, I think dudes are just so insecure with their, their sex. Sexual, yeah. Yeah. They're, yeah. like, scared. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not trying to, like, F a dude in the B. I would. I, I would peg someone. Not somebody that I am <sighs> romantic with. I don't know. Because I used to strap on once for a girl and I didn't like it. No? Mm -mm. It was just weird. Maybe it was just those girls. I only did it once. Yeah. I wasn't a fan of her. I don't... I, like, mm. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. I So, like, I'm... So, you are a little more... Um, uh, what do you go rough? Am I though? I mean, like you like to hit people in VIP. Well, that's not sex. It's not, but see, that has to do with some sort of humiliation. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't even, I can't even slap somebody in VIP. Remember when I did? I laughed the whole time. <laughs> I was like, uh -huh, uh, with a paddle and shit. Mm -hmm. When I smacked that guy the other night at the stage, his fucking glasses went Phew. I mean, when I whooped the dude at, yeah. on the fucking, the birthday well, you party, the shit out I fucking whooped his ass. I was definitely pissed off that at that fun. point. Fun. So it's like, I guess I could, I guess I could F some dude in the B if I'm like really mad. I think I was blowing me up for days. Yeah? He, he likes feet. You have feet pictures. I was like, don't get in trouble with your fiance. Oh, yeah, it was a bachelor party. I thought yeah, it was a birthday party. Yeah. See, um, I am nice. Yeah, I whooped that dude's ass. Yeah. Sexual, no. I don't want to be, I mean, lit choke maybe, but I don't want to get hit. Yeah. I don't no, I mean, like, you to. Yeah, I don't hit my partner during sex. Right. I can't, I mean, I just, I'm not, I'm not a. A negative sex person? I don't, I mean, it's not negative, but. Rough. I mean, deep. I like. I like deep sometimes. I don't. But that's not. That's I not. Don't know. I don't know. Mm. I guess we'll find out. I don't need to be. <laughs> I don't need to be restrained. Oh no, I hate. I have my 
was talking about, so I freaked out. I, it's, it's like Ugh. a claustrophobia thing. I'll get mad. I'll fucking start. Like, I don't know. Like, it's a, I think what happened was, I remember, this was kind of weird though, I guess. Um, being like held down and tickled uh, okay. as a kid. So I would like literally Anxiety. switch. Yeah. I would fucking switch and start raging. Fucking. Yeah. Open this pit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would just, I would get so fucking upset, but it was like a claustrophobic type of yeah. anxiety. Yeah. So like, I'm not, you know, like the, the holding, holding down lightly. I guess I like everything, but just in a, a pastel form. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You can't time it with that black root. Oh, pastel pink ribbon. ribbon. Got it. You know? I, I think mean, there's a name for that. It's like it's a uh, softer type. Of- it's um it's sensual domination. So it's touch. It's it's yeah, it's so, all it's all like feel, gentle yeah. tickles, touches, light shit. And I mean like you know, literally in my head, the way I'm picturing it is like you have a dungeon with like brick walls and chains and leather. And then on this side, it's like fluffy beds and yeah, feathers and cake and milk. (laughs) Cookies. I just, I mean, I don't know. And I guess like my, my sex is just dainty. Wow. I'm dainty sex. I mean, I've only had sex with one person in the past. I don't know how long. I mean, I mean, I know how long, but y'all, I mean, I don't know how long. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't even want it's, to. I don't even want to do this, but I need a. I need a sex review. It's not. It's not dainty. My sex isn't dainty because it can get rough, but not like. I know I can get boring as fuck because I just don't care. I mean, I'm not like a, I'm not, um, I don't have to have sex every day. I don't, I don't, I think I jerked off for the first time and like two weeks ago I jerked off. Yeah. But like the first time, in a, I mean, I guess I got dicked down, so it don't matter. But yeah, but that was a month ago. Yeah. So, I mean, like I'm not a, con- I'm not a have sex all the time person. But when you want it, you want it. But when I want it, I want it. You want it now. Yeah. It's yeah. my sport and I need it now. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so I mean, like, I'm not a, I get, I, get, I don't know. I guess I'm, I could have sex for 10 minutes and come and be fine. I don't gotta be flip flopped around. God, I'm fucking a piece of shit. You like cuddling after? Yeah. Cuddle. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's like, it's the build up and the after to me. Okay, like get into it. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, I like I like to spend a lot of time getting touched and tickled. Yeah, and then by the time something touches my vagina, I explode. Whoa. Yeah, I'm like whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm uh going to the swinger party. They have this one room, and there's cameras in it, and it projects into like the main room where everyone like hangs out. I'm gonna use that one. I wanted to use it last time, but I didn't. Yeah. 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 I need to stop. Yeah, I need like I need a sex review. Gross. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna ask people, hey, I love my sex. I mean, I know my blowjobs are fucking amazing. You were told that. Yes. I, and then I was told the other day that they were the worst. Yeah. Um but I probably just didn't. First off, it was a fucking harassing text message situation. Oh, okay. So I think that was just a bunch of shit talking. Um, I've been told that. I mean, I earned those socks. I earned those socks. Like, I'm okay. With, I'm I'm secure in that department. I think. I've been told I give good boy jobs. And I mean, I don't know. It's sloppy. No, no, no. <laughs> the spit trails. Not you always, know. But- Sometimes it's hot when you pull apart and there's like, yeah, that's the hottest part of it. Uh, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, as far as sex goes, I, I don't know. 
we'll ask next time. We'll yeah. sit down and be like, hi, Tell Hoshi, <laughs> with a clipboard. Yeah, I need I need reviews. Yeah. I need but reviews. they still talk to you after. I feel like it has to be good. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. I feel like if it wasn't good, no one would talk to you after. And I mean, and it's not even like about being good or bad. Just like what, where, where can I improve? <laughs> Make a list. <laughs> I mean, I definitely had a lot of the biggest complaint in the past relationship was that I just didn't want to have sex enough. Well, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like not very physically attractive. It's like a, a bullet vibrator. <laughs> I think I'm. Yeah. Yeah, very small. We should have a lot too of this podcast. What are you gonna do? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Sue me? Yeah. I didn't say their names. Let me. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna drink this, but it makes a weird trickling noise. What do you mean it makes a trickling noise? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I can't swallow. <laughs> so, so this thing, <coughs> like choking on it. <laughs> <coughs> okay, I'm good. This is like a flavor packet. You can just change the top. Is that a disposable top? Mm -hmm. How much does that cost? This was 20 bucks and it came with two of these. These are like $3. But they oh. last like four days or something. Oh, so you can use it like multiple times? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one's like a day old. I just switched it. This is takes good with this gym water in it though. I like filtered water. Yeah. I I drink bottled water and I need to stop being a piece of shit. I've been drinking a lot of water though since I had that. Like a lot. Yeah. Like three or four of those a day. Yeah. I drink, like, someone who drinks nothing. I drink bottled water. So it's like I have a lot of plastic. But I have a shit ass refrigerator that doesn't have like one of those I'm gonna buy you one of those. I have like Brita's. Like I'll when I do have my Brita, I um, it takes so long for it to filter, and oh, then yeah. get cold. So I'm like, I'm waste Like by the time I fill up something or drink, like yeah. I'll, like I'll chug a glass of water and it'll like, yeah. Anything else we can think of? Uh, we have to record our intro. We have to. Technically, you have to. My hair looks really good. I don't want to put down my hair. It's been up for like four days. The color looks really good. Yeah, it does look really good. I need to redo my color. Do that next week, though. I need my ends trimmed. Didn't you just get your hair done? I got it cut or colored. Did you cut and colored? No, I didn't do it. We didn't do the trim. But you know what? I don't want to. I don't like getting my hair trimmed. Cause like it's at that length where I love it. Well, actually, I want it a little bit longer. But you have to trim it, and I have to trim it. Yeah, I go through that. Well, technically, time. I don't have to trim it because it grows from here down, not from here down. So I mean, it just looks gross. It breaks off. Yeah, it looks gross. So, but I mean, it's not bad. Right I got my hair cut like a week ago. She's like, you, you need to use protection when you straight straighten your hair because my bottom's really messed up. I was like, no, nah, that's from it being in a bun for like a week. I'm like, I know my hair. Just that's me. how my, yeah, because I don't ever put, um, I, I try not to put heat on my hair. Yeah, I thought you were just straightening it. And um, my hair was in braids pretty much for a whole week. <coughs> so my ends are like crinkly. Because yeah. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> Ew. Ew. Who's this? Dirty Buffalo is next to me. Hey, What's Dirty Buffalo? Food. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, and they're like mailing list. Oh, oh, snap. What? Pizza? No, just pictures oh. of my pictures of my nephew. Yeah. I mean, that's still good stuff. Not the good stuff I want to hear, but. Right? I think that's it. Yeah. Peace out. Thanks for joining us two months later. I know. We'll record in Richmond. Yeah. We have to. We're just going to start recording on, like, on site, like, off, or off site. I'll bring the camera, record some in the car. We have GoPros? Yeah. 
I mean, the quality is going to be different. Oh, okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because we can just start doing some just daytime stuff and just... GoPro won't stop either, though. I can probably record a whole yeah. episode. <sighs> we need a manager. I mean, we have one, kind of, but we never gave her <laughs> anything. Because she's supposed to run my OnlyFans, too, and I haven't given her my passwords. Uh, we need a manager. Or James. We'll talk about it in Richmond. Yeah. He'll be with us. Is what's your name back? Yeah. Taylor? Taylor, you're welcome back. Give me your job back. <laughs> yeah. We need we need to stay on task. We got this. We'll get this one out. It'll probably be out by Monday. And then we'll record in Richmond. That'll be out. You know. Yeah. I think we just gotta keep it. Maybe we'll record next week. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Okay, bye. <laughs>